Hello, my name is Harold Ward. I uh, just recently decided to check out the GoFundMe website. Um, the reason why I checked it out is because uh, me and my wife, we decided we were going to buy a house here where we live in uh, Wellington, North Carolina. Um, the only problem with that is we have a nonverbal autistic son that likes to try to get out of the house and run, jump into traffic, um, and I find by his water. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have heard his horror stories about children with, not, with autism being found in ponds and getting hit by traffic. And it's a constant struggle for us every day. Uh, it's a really big nightmare too for us at night because it's hard for us to sleep because we're always constantly waking up trying to figure out if Neolan is safe or if he's running off. So I decided to set up the GoFundMe website to try to earn, to raise a little bit of money to help us put the new house in a secure fashion for Neil. And that includes uh, putting some locks on some windows um, uh, that involves a key, um, digitally locking the, um, the front and back door um, and the garage door so that Neil can't get out without having a digital, a digital signature, basically an electronic lock. Um, the security system that's going to be installed, most people can just handle it, having one camera, having one of this, one of that. When you have a nonverbal autistic son as a runner, you tend to need a lot more than just a little bit of um, uh, security. So I'm pretty sure that just paying for security alone is going to cost us a little bit of money. Um, now, I can afford some stuff, but I, I can't afford... Uh, elaborate, elaborate systems. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, we worked into our home, but we got privacy fence being put in the backyard, but that, that's all fine and dandy for most families, but uh, for Neil and Neil, it's strong enough to push the boards out. So I'm going to have to go behind them and build a uh, a interior level around the, uh, around the fence, basically to make it twice as thick so Neil and can't get out. Um, I know it does sound bad that we're trying to keep him in the house, but whenever you're looking at his safety, his safety is paramount. And um, I look down over here, my cat's trying to get my cable full full in a second here. <laughs> Playing with my power cord. <laughs> but anyways, back to the task at hand. Um, so I set up the GoFundMe website. It's GoFundMe. Uh, Neil and Ward. Uh, of course, it's GoFundMe backslash Neil and Ward. Uh, Neil and is spelled N E O L I N and W A R D. Now, I uh, you can also find me by zip code too. It's uh, zip code two seven five four six. But the thing is, is what I'm trying to find is I I, I have tried GoFundMe. Um, well, I haven't really tried GoFundMe before. This is the first time I've tried it. But um, I've tried uh, crowdfunding sites before, and I'm, I, I'm a fan of, of how they help people. Um, but I guess I've never been the one that's been actually very uh, lucky with it. Uh, so I'm trying a YouTube video this time to actually send out there and let them let people know that my video is out there, uh, that my my cause is out there. It's called Keep Me Owen Safe. Keeping Me Owen Safe, sorry. Um, and I just really hope and pray that, that, that people can come together and, and, and help us raise just a little bit of money. I'm not asking for a lot. Um, I'm only asking to try to raise $1,000 to start off with just to get the necessary equipment in the house to where he's safe so that he can't get out and get hurt and stuff like that. Uh, you'll read on, on the story how he's jumped out of a two-story window. He hadn't even get hurt from doing that. He has no fear. And as of right now, he is seven foot, or he is 64 pounds, I believe. And he is four and a half foot tall. So, and he's only seven years old. So he's a big boy for being seven. And he doesn't respond to verbal cues or anything like that. Believe me, if I could afford to have a stay at, at an in-house nanny for him to help with him, I would. Uh, primarily because I'm a disabled vet myself, and it's really hard for me to get up and get around with to, to help him. Um, 
especially with my disabilities. So uh, share this as much as possible. Uh, I'm not expecting it to go viral. If it goes viral, that'd be great. But uh, I really am just reaching out to see if I can get some help. Uh, and uh, every one of you have a really great day, and and uh, I'll try to keep everyone posted on future videos about what's going on and I plan on doing some videos later on about other stuff that I have views on but as of right now I'm pretty much going to stick with what's important to me and my family which is really keeping Neil one safe thank you